If you are over the age of 35, stop everything you're doing right now. After a lifetime of eating fatty foods, you may run the risks of a stroke or heart attack due to plaque buildup in your veins and arteries. To learn how you can reduce your risks, visit youthfountainlab.com or call 1-800-853-7856 today. This may be a life-changing call for you or someone you love. Thank you, and we hope to hear from you. Hey fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Insider. I am Ongil Zalalem bringing you the story. Today's story is about what archaeologists found. It's the oldest human burial that was discovered and it was in the eastern region of Kenya. It was a, a skeleton of a three-year-old. They named it Ntoto, which means in Swahili, um, a child, a baby. So this um, this uh, skeleton belonged to a child as i said and it was buried 80,000 years ago and this discovery helps a lot in finding out where we came from and actually learning history when it comes to the old ages that was like 80,000 years ago means we didn't start writing you know that was it, it is incredible uh, to hear about this. So they know for a fact that this child was not just thrown in the dirt. He actually was buried because of the position, the way they found him. His hand was um, next to his head. They positioned him in um, sleeping like a fetus, you know, when you it's like this um in in a position where he's laying and they even put a pillow underneath him so right now they didn't find the pillow but they saw the decomposition of the soft material that they put under the skull and also after that decomposed the skull went a bit you know tilted because of the position so it's it's it really unlocks a lot of mystery Eighty thousand years ago we believed in burial like they didn't just throw it away they're like ah he's dead and they didn't go they put him in a position they positioned him in a way where it's kind of like the scientists were even saying like they believed in the afterlife they were ensuring that he was in a good position and he's comfortable and i i i, I kind of even i'm getting emotional because I guess when they teach us, especially in school, even though I'm a spiritual person and I'm like, no, nah, I don't know about evolution. I believe like we evolved, but I don't know if we came from monkeys. That's just me. So even though they make us believe like with the Homo sapiens and Erectus and I forgot, you know, I was in school years ago. <laughs> so that stage that we had to go through. It makes you feel like we were like anim we were monsters we're still animals but we were monsters you know that's how they portray us we were monkeys like no comprehension no logic we were just eating gathering and hunting and that's it but 80,000 years ago a mom and a dad or whatever like he was a child so he was probably with his caregiver I'm assuming mom maybe so when he died they gave they they sent him off respectfully they buried him they positioned him they put a pillow so that he rests like he will live another life or he's he, they're ensuring that he's comfortable that mentality was there eighty thousand years ago you know so um as i told you the archaeologists studied they took it they took the bones to their labs and checked and they they're sure it's a it's a baby human he's three years old they found five teeth and a spinal cord and the skull basically all his parts and as i told you it was positioned in that way so his knees were closer to his chest and they put him in a sleeping position so that um told them that like if they didn't bury him properly his bones would have been found everywhere it would have been scattered the reason why he was found like that is because they buried him he was they didn't just leave him on top they gave him a proper burial that's why he was found the way he was found so um i found this story to be incredible i really do and it just it, it gives me more faith 
in the humankind <laughs> and pretty much a mom now and a mom 80,000 years ago is the same or a dad it's just they loved that baby so much they gave him a send-off and you wouldn't think from all this evolution stories that you hear and you know we were savages and stuff so anyways it was found in kenya as i told you um when they find um, more things and they report on it i will be sure to come and update you i am wangil zalalam bringing you the story please like this video subscribe i will see you on the next one bye hey brothers i want to tell you about a website called blackmenszone.com now, Black Men Zone is a site that specifically targets black men. It's a place where black men talk about issues that solely affect them. Now, at Black Men Zone, the topics will range from news to society, sports, technology, business, food and recipes. You know, some you know, you know, brothers got to cook too. Gaming, and some of your brothers like doing some of that. Health and fitness, you know, got to get your workout on. Music, movies, and many other topics. Now, there's not many forums around these days for black men and because black men have to create them. Now, this particular website is more of a forum based, something simple, not social media. You can write what you need to write, say what you need to say, get on, get off pretty quick. But if you're interested, brothers, to at least go there and I want you to check it out, engage in the topics, go to blackmenzone.com, sign up for an account and get engaged in the conversation. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the African Diaspora News Channel app now available on Google Play and the Apple App Store.